Hello everyone. Today, welcome to Easy to Explore. Today we are going to know how to run servlet or JSP programs in Tomcat Apache. For that, first you have to download the Tomcat Apache folder. For that, we will move to standard browser of Google Chrome. You may have a different browser. You may use any other browser. We will just type Tomcat Apache with download, and you will able to. See our website name tomcat.apache.org. You have to go to that website and you may click the latest version which you need to download. You may choose any other version. We will move to the window format which we are using. Actually, we are using Windows 8. You must have a different Windows. You can you can have the window and you may have 32 bit or 64 bit windows. We have a 64 bit. We will download the 64 window set. as we have already downloaded that folder and pasted in any of the drive you can paste that folder in any of the drive it is not mandatory that you must paste that folder in the c drive only we have pasted that you can paste it in any other drive e f g or any etc folder you drive you have we have we have downloaded that tomcat apache 8 version with 18 updations and 64 bit format so for this after downloading and after pasting in any specific drive we will move on and we will go to the my computer properties part and then move to the advanced system setting then the environment variable here we need to set three path that is mandatory to run servlet on gsp program one of them path is you have to find out the java_home variable you may able to get this variable or gri underscore home if you do not find this in system variables you have to just click on the new you have to type it in cap after switching on the caps lock java underscore home and then you have to give the variable value so variable for variable value you have to go to my computer and you have to find the path of java jdk folder for that we will move to the program files folder here we will get the java folder and then JDK the latest version we have stored and we will only go to the JDK folder not in the bin folder and we will paste copy this path and then paste in the variable value and then just click OK. You have to just remember the Java underscore home must be in capital. Similarly, you have to create a new variable named as JRE completely in caps lock home and then the same variable value. For that also, you have to just go to the Java folder and JRE folder, the latest version, and you have to just copy the path and just paste it in the variable value, and then just click OK. After that, you will able to get a variable name which is pre-initialized, that is class path. In that, you have to just click Edit after choosing that, and you will able to get a number of path you have to terminate it with the help of semicolon and then you have to go to the folder which contain apache tomcat folder in this when you move to the apache tomcat you may able to get number of folders you have to just move to the lib folder and you will able to get servlet-api.jar file you have to copy this path in which you will find this servlet dash api dot jar you have to paste this path then you have to mention the file name also which you need to call and then just click okay and then again okay and then again okay now your all path are set now you have to move to the apache apache tomcat folder in the bin folder you will able to get number of the file of startup shutdown and the catalina one in this you have to just copy the path of that folder and open command prompt you may use a shortcut key of window r cmd or you may search it in a program then you have to type the cd command for change directory and you have to paste the paste the path of tomcat apache as it is in c drive we are pasting a path and entering it you may use the option of command line 
command prompt of edit and then paste I have I know the shortcut key to, so I have used that shortcut key after pasting the path you have to type C and just press the tab key you will able to get a file name catlina.bat then space start start enter on this entering you will able to watch a window named Tomcat and in that number of files number of things are included which are getting executed and if all things get executed successfully you will able to see server startup in particular millisecond at the end of every execution after every, after all execution you have to just minimize this it means that your tomcat apache server has been started we will minimize the command prompt too and then we will move to the browser window we will open a new tab and we will type localhost with a port name colon 8080 that's a standard port name for localhost server which is used by tomcat apache different server may have different port number for tomcat apache that's the standard you have to just press enter and you will able to see this window after this click on the example folder to check that server or gsp program runs running properly or not move to the servlet examples you will able to watch a source code tab you may able to see that source code get back to the part of servlet examples with code then execute any of the code you will able to see the path and you will see that hello world get executed that means your servlet is properly configured you may check the G test out the gsp program also after this if you want to shut down the server or stop the server you may move to the tomcat apache again you may just click here itself the close window it will also close the window but it will be not be a proper way of closing the tomcat apache server the proper way will be see catlina tab catlina.bat then shut then stop sorry you have to just type stop it will take few minutes uh, by executing various part and will stop the server then you have to just enter a command from exit it will exit the command line also so that's how you may run the servlet or gsp program in tomcat apache server thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel and please share it Thank you.